Okay, welcome to how to play and beat the Rich Dad cash flow game. I'm going to show you how to beat conceptually the game. First, let's look at a couple slides. What is the goal of the game? The goal of the game is to move from the rat race into the fast track, which represents financial freedom. And the way we do that is in two stages. Part one is grow your money by building assets or buying assets that can be start a business, buy real estate, or buy stocks. There are some smaller things you can do like buy gold or start a widget part-time business as well. But primarily most of the deals will be buy cheap real estate, let it grow, grow in value, or buy cheap stocks and let that grow in value. So that, that we call capital gains. We don't get cash flow from this, but we grow our money. Our money pile gets bigger. And then later we're in part two, we're going to build cash flow. In part two, you're going to take your larger cash pile and look for bigger deals that give you cash flow so you can build your passive income. So capital gains, we grow our money, we're buying and selling. In part two, we're building cash flow and getting rents or dividends or some kind of profit generation from a productive asset. These are businesses that make profit. We use that profit and make like a paycheck for ourselves. So let's jump into the game and show you how to do this. Okay, now to beat the game when you're really good at it, you, you should be able to do it in under 10 minutes. I don't know how fast I will beat this one but let's jump in let's do uh sl all right so my audio should be working here i have whatever it doesn't matter what job you get it just tells you you're a police officer in this case this is the card i got and here's my income here's my savings let's play so we, we're going to start off with roll. Whenever I have extra money, you'll see I'll want to repay my debt. If I ever need extra money, I can borrow some money, which is at a high interest rate. So keep that in mind. I, when I'm trying to play fast, I skip all of these charity uh, cards. But it does, if you do donate, it costs you money and you get to roll more times. But it's optional. So let's go back, do it again, roll. We're gonna keep rolling. So now I have, it shows, here's my cash. This is what I have to spend. I always wanna keep some money because if I get downsized, which means I don't get as much work or paychecks, I'm gonna need, need that cash. I wanna pay off my liabilities. Liabilities is the money I owe. So credit cards, car loans, retail debt. I wanna pay this off whenever I have extra cash. I don't have too much extra cash. My assets go on the left. Here, here's my lifestyle, my, my income minus expenses. So here's what I make, here's what I spend, and any extra money goes to my assets or to pay down my liabil liabilities, what I borrow. To win the game, I want my passive income, my income that, that I collect without having to do anything from businesses. I want that to pay for all my expenses. So that's how we get out of the rat race. We have to convert cash into cash flow. So you'll see. We'll go again. We'll go into small, small deals. Here's an example of a stock. It's already 50 bucks. It goes from five to 40. I don't want this deal because it's already expensive. So I'm going to pass. Now, because I want to save money, I'm going to pay down this retail debt. Retail payment is 50 bucks on the expenses. So as you can see, if I pay that down, I'm going to use cash, but then I'll, I'll save $50 every turn. And I'll keep playing. Small deals, please. Here's another stock. Five to $30 is the trading range. I don't want it because it's already at the top of the trading range. This stock is already expensive. So I just pass. If it's $5 or $1, I really want it. But it's not. That's a real estate card, doesn't apply. 
we'll keep going. Here's an expense. I don't have a choice. I have to pay for it. I, I also have $2,000 so I can pay off some credit cards, but I'm not going to do it yet because uh, I haven't made any extra money and I'm, I'm going to want to use that money. So here's a good example. Uh, $5 stock. It goes from 10 to 30. I want this. I'm going to buy, I have $2,000, let's say. So I'm going to buy maybe 40. Oops, way, way wrong, 400. So that's going to use up most of my cash, but that's a good deal. And then apartment house buyer. I don't have any apartments at the, at the moment. Let's keep looking at the small deals. Here's a $30 stock. I don't want it. Most of the stocks in the game are a good deal. Um, if they're cheap. So there's no companies that really go bankrupt. Here's a really good deal. Now I'm going to show how to borrow some money. So let's say I want to buy $4,000 worth. Now this is risky, it's kind of advanced, but I could buy and they said, hey, you don't have $4,000, you only have $2,000. Do you want to borrow $2,000? It'll cost you $200 and I can afford that. So I'm going to say yes. And now I'm going to buy four thousand dollars worth of stock at a dollar i have to do this because these are the best deals in the game so now we roll oh no i'm downsized i i am unlucky i'm downsized so i have to borrow some more money you'll see and now i could pay for the gap in income So I'm looking for small deals. Here's another $5 stock, but I know I can't do that because I owe so much money. I'm going to pass. I could sell some, but my four to you. So I, I bought some at a dollar. I went to five. I wanted to go to 30. So I'm just going to pass on this. And I'm going to repay some of my loan debt. Okay. I'm going to go to small deal again. Uh, we don't have any cash. It's ten dollars. It's not bad, but now I have to be conservative. I'm still trying to grow my money. Here's a house for sale. This is an okay deal. It doesn't require a down payment, but I will lose a hundred dollars every turn, every every paycheck. I'm gonna buy it, and then I'm gonna pay down my loan with my thousand. So I am taking some risky decisions. Furniture sale, I have to pay for that. No choice. Here's, an, here's a, another house for 65000 which is kind of expensive, and I have to put up money, so I pass on that. No deal. Mutual fund, $10, and it goes from 10 to 30 I'm going to pass, and I'm going to pay down some debt. Here's another 1000 I'm slowly paying that down. Preferred stock, not a, not a great deal, so I pass. Here's another house. 50000 like the one we bought before, but I have to put up $3,000. But it is $100 positive, so I'm going to pass on that and finally pay off this loan. Let's see another, another deal here. I'm going to pass on that. So now I'm in a good position to have a house. Hopefully I can sell that later. I have some stock and I'm waiting for a higher price. I'm trying to do what the slides are saying. Remember part one, I'm still in the grow money stage. So we pay that. Downsized again, oh no. So I'm gonna have to borrow a little bit of money again. And we keep playing. Some split, doesn't matter. All right, so now my 400 shares of on to you went to $20. I wouldn't mind selling that, getting some money. Let me sell just half, okay? Because then maybe they go to 40. So I'm gonna sell half of them. And what do I owe? I owe a thousand there. And I'm gonna pay off those credit cards. So anytime you make money, if you have any debt, you want to pay it down. It just makes it easier. 
Small deal. Here's a condo. I don't really like the condos, so I'm just going to pass. I, I just stick to what I like. CDs for certificate of deposit. Those don't make us a lot of money, so we pass. Here's a condo. Again, I don't like those. I'm going to pass. And I'm downsized again, but now I have some cash, so it doesn't hurt as bad. So we just pay for it. It just means I don't work as much. I don't get as much every turn. Small deal. Here's another $1 deal. You have to buy these if you can afford it. And I have $4,000, and I have some buying power. So I'm going to buy, let's say, 8000 because I know this will make me a rich police officer. So yes. Now, you might be wondering, can you go bankrupt in the game? Yes, you can. You can lose the game if you don't manage your money. And it's happened to me. So very, uh, here's, another, here's another example of a good deal. Um, I'm going to do it, even though it's a risky deal. I had to borrow money for that. <clears throat> Skip the condo. If you're going to borrow money, you have to make sure you can afford the, the payments. All right, some more stock on $10. Um, I'm, I'm going to sell a little bit just because I want the cash. And I'm going to pay some of my loan. Small deal. Gonna pass. Pay down my loan. Certificate I'll pass on. And I really want, I'll make the most money if the stocks <clears throat> go up in price, so that's what I want. That was a split. I don't have any control, so nothing to think about there. This is what I want. <clears throat> so I have 1750 of my 4 to you my t for you that I got for a dollar. It's now at 40 bucks. This is the best possible scenario. I sell it all, and I make 70,000 bucks. That's great. I go, I go back and I just repay any, any debt I might have left over. And we keep playing. I think I have enough to start looking at the big deal. Um, I get downsized, but I can afford it. But because I have so much cash, I'm going to start looking at the positive cash flow deals, which is a big one. I start clicking on the bigs. Here's a duplex. This is an okay deal. But I'm going to pass on that one. I have a little rule that I use for the big deals. I multiply the cash flow times 10, and if it's close to the down payment, I do it. This is a good deal because 2,500 times 10 is close to 30,000. That's a huge return. So I'm going to buy that. Boom. And that's how you win the game. I happen to have enough, and I got a really good deal. And now I have more passive income that will cover my expenses. So the, the bar filled up, and it says... Congratulations, you're out of the rat race. This is the main point of the game. I, I still have more assets that could have gone up in value, but I didn't need them. I, I just found, I did a couple of deals. My stock went up, and then I found a good cash flow. I don't even know what it was, a laundry? I think it was a laundry mat. So now I'm out of the rat race. I'm in the fast track. And at this point, to be honest, I just stopped playing. Because the hardest part of the game is getting out of the rat race. As you can see, it's just easy here. We're just, we're on the fast track. You're already rich. This is the whole point of the game. So let me, let me recap. In the beginning, in order to beat the game, you want to get out of the rat race and go into, get financial freedom, which is called the fast track. Eventually, you know, you, you win. By getting out of the rat race and and just continuing to play but the rat race is the most important part one is grow your money which is we did it by buying stocks 
by buying and selling, buying and selling, and then paying down the debt so that we don't run out of money. Eventually, you look for positive cash flow, which were the big deals that got us out of the rat race and into the fast track. And that is how you beat the game. If you have any questions, put them in the comments.